A few days ago on one of my Instagram videos, I talked about how I had failed my check ride, even though I realized now that it wasn't a failure in my life because it's made me such a better pilot. But either way, today I thought I would talk to you guys about a little bit more detail of that, why I failed the check ride, what check ride it was. Um, it was my instrument check ride and it was in probably about, I think it was the summer of 2005. Um, I mean, me and my instructor, we'd gone through everything in the syllabus. I, you know, was flying to PTS standards, but for some reason, I did not have the confidence that I would be able to pass. You know, I'd read all the material, but there were still all these like, what ifs going through my mind? What if I lose my situational awareness? Or what if I, you know, let the needle go more than three quarter scale deflection on the ILS? And these what ifs, these fears were just, giving me a lack of confidence, honestly. So I was ready to take the check ride, but mentally I wasn't ready. Um, but my instructor set it up. I went to the check ride, the ground portion went fine. And for the flight portion it was like the worst weather day you could possibly have for a check ride. There was little snow flurries all over the valley and I'm flying out of Provo airport. And that was another, um, Another thing that kind of hit me mentally, like, oh my gosh, there's there's clouds out there, it's snowing, I'm gonna have the foggles on, it's really windy, it's gonna be bumpy, what if I screw up my hold with the one minute turn? I mean, there was so many doubts going through my mind, but I was just, I was trying to push past them, and so I just told the examiner, like, you know what, if you feel, if you feel safe with this, then I, I feel safe with the weather, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing illegal, it's, you know, and I'm, trying to become an instrument pilot. So I should be able to fly around a few clouds or, you know, we weren't on an instrument flight plan, so I couldn't fly through them. But either way, we decided to do the flight and we were mostly done with the check ride and he was giving me radar vectors to an ILS approach. Problem was most of the times that I had practiced that with my flight instructor, it was in a pretty perfect environment. You know, like we came in, he gave me perfect little turns to headings until it aligned up with the ILS approach course. And then I, you know, tracked the needle in, no big deal. Today though, the day of the check ride, it was insane. Like the examiner was having to give me radar vectors all around these snow clouds and we were all over the place. To make a long story short, he had given me that final, you know, 30 degree intercept to the final approach course and the needle swung in and then it went to the other side. And as it was swinging to the other side, I noticed it and I immediately knew like, dude, I just blew through the course, I'm done. And all the confidence, I didn't have that much to begin with for that check ride, but all of it was gone at that point. If you do fail something on your check ride, you have two options. You can continue and just finish all the other maneuvers and then come back at a later day and just complete the one maneuver that you failed or you can just stop the check ride right there and just do all those other maneuvers at a later day. And I just knew, I'm like, no, <laughs> he asked me what I wanted to do and I said, we gotta just go back in, I'm, I'm done. And it was really hard. It was one of the hardest things I've gone through because I just felt like I was the failure. Not that I had just had, had failed at something, I felt like I was the failure. And I just remember the examiner trying to give me a good debrief afterwards. I'm pretty sure I didn't hear a word he said. Um, and I just went home and I'm a girl, so I bawled <laughs> for like days. And then my instructor called me and he was just like, nope, you're a great pilot. We're gonna get you back out in the air, meet me today. Which was super awesome of him. So I went back out, I met with him and, you know, I went through all the maneuvers that we still needed to do. We flew all of those and we practiced a million ILSs and I was back in the books. But the main thing that I did was gain confidence that I needed because I, I realized that like I filled that check ride because I wasn't confident and, and it was something that I knew how to do. I know how to intercept and fly an ILS. You know, I'd done it a million times, but it was just, I was getting in my own head. So while I was prepping to take that check ride again, I kind of had to be my own best coach. You know, when something negative would come into my mind, instead of dwelling on that, I would just say, that's not true. That's not true at all. You know how to do this. This isn't even a big deal for you. You've got this. And the good news is I went and retook my check ride again and I did pass it the second time. So if you guys have failed a check ride, don't let it discourage you. It's not that you are a failure. It's just that 
you didn't pass something. And like I said before, failing that check ride, and we'll get into this in a video tomorrow, it really has made me a better pilot. 